Hello everyone, I'm Astros11 and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Last time, well, uh, we took on the linear mining facility, seeing Zelda getting ourselves the harp, where now we can strum, and, well, her and Impa destroyed the Gate of Time. So now, we have basically no way of following them because Girahim came over and attacked us. But, in this episode, I plan to do some collecting, but also... I'll uh, do some side questing and hold on. Okay, crappity crap and frick. Why is the controller not doing what I want it to? Thank you very much. Okay. Enough with technical difficulties. Let's go and move on. Let's really continuing on progressing in this episode. I want to at least make my way to Skyloft to get some gratitude crystals and give myself a couple of neat rewards from them from the demon below Skyloft and of course see all the goddess chests that we have left to collect. So let's go ahead and get them because I mean, why not? Of course. We do got a province to make our way back to, as you guys probably know, in this game, you backtrack to provinces a lot, and I don't mean that lightly. You backtrack back to provinces constantly in Skyward Swords, so it's a lot of backtracking, but hey, it's all worth it, because I mean, why wouldn't it be worth it, right? And I just realized that's not the right chest. Okay, let's go ahead and jump our way back down and wait, please. Okay, I was going to say, is it not going to let me get back onto my loft wing? Because if not, that was going to be very, very scary. But okay. Let's go ahead. And pop on down, baby. We All right. Let's go ahead, open up this chest, and see what it's going to contain, please. Oh, a heart medal. That is completely useless. Okay. Not the most useful thing in the world, but oh well. I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. So let's go and place down a couple beacons where these goddess chests are as we want to make our way off to them now where are they located i can't even freaking tell so let's go ahead and just try and figure it out so okay they're located pretty much over in this direction okay let's go ahead make our way off and get these goddess chests then i will be making my way back to skyloft to again do a couple of gratitude crystal side quests as many as really i can find whether it be one or maybe two maybe four who knows how many we're going to be doing this episode I want to get those quests done, get a couple quests started in this sequence. Uh, I've got a couple quests that are going to be ongoing throughout this playthrough, so I want to get those started so that we can continue them. And from there, we'll be ready to re-enter the Pharaon region and continue from there. As Yeah, it's going to be interesting because um, there's going to be a boss fight, literally. I was doing this fight from the very start of this LP, literally. When I first started this playthrough on the channel, recording the TV, I dreaded this boss fight from the moment we began this LP. And now here we are, where we are pretty much ready to take on that boss. It's going to be in the Pharaon region. Now we all know it. We all hate it. It is the worst boss in Skyward Sword, a recurring one, but the absolute worst boss in the entire game. It being, I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm just going to say I hate it. And okay, bird, please. No, bird, please. Why? Why me today? Why? Why does it have to be today that I just, I'm just i on a struggle bus and we can't grab the freaking red rupee? Come on, man. Give me what I want already. Okay, whatevs. We're going to have to ignore the crow for now. Let's go focus on getting these goddess chests. Because, yeah, it's a lot of flying around. A lot of hustling from island to island. So, yeah. It's a lot of flying, so it's very... Uh, but it's very exciting for you guys to watch right now. I bet this is very, very exciting right now. I do hope it is, because, I mean, I don't do these episodes for nothing for you guys. So, let's go and see. Up here is the gas chest that we saw beforehand, but we couldn't get, because we didn't get the appropriate goddess cube. And, okay, a silver rupee. I will take that all day, baby. Holy crap. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way to the next and final goddess chest in the sky. There might be one on Skyloft, who knows, I don't care. I will get it, or at least I'll attempt to get it if I can find where it is. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Knight. I mean to smack you, but you ran into me, so I don't know whose fault it is, honestly, so... Don't know what to tell you, man, don't know what to tell you. But, here is the goddess chest. Let's go and open it up and get ourselves... A piece of heart, very nice. Okay, I will take that, baby. I will freaking take that. That is absolutely fantastic. The more pieces of heart we can get in this LP, the better. Because again, 
this LP, it's 100%, so I'm going for all the pieces of heart, at least the majority of them. I won't be getting a couple of them only because they're very aggravating and frustrating, and I've done them before, and I hate them to all hell. I will not be doing them this playthrough, one of them being the pumpkin minigame with Fledge. Because, yeah, I hate it so much. I just, I hate it. I really do, guys. I really hate it. I just, I hate the minigame to hell, so. I'm not going to be doing it, but... Yeah, just the Flood Pumpkin minigame, it's just annoying, it's aggravating, I hate it, it just, yeah, it sucks. Well, let's go ahead and make our way up to Skyloft, because again, there are a couple quests I want to do, and then, yeah, we'll be ready to make our way off. Back to Fern Woods. So yeah, this episode, it's really all I have planned, not much, I know, but in future episodes, I plan for there to be more going on, so we'll see how things go. Let's continue on, man. I just have to say, I love the music in this game. Like, the music in Skyward Sword, it's amazing. I love it. So good. Like, the, yeah, I just can't get over it. Like, the music in Skyward Sword is absolutely amazing. It just, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's just, especially the sky music when you're flying, it's amazing. Like, the Skyward Sword, is, Skyward Sword, in my opinion, has some of the best music in the entire Zelda series. I know that's a pretty hot take, but at the same time, it's not really because a lot of people would agree with me there. But, um, yeah. Let's go make a way into here, as I do believe... Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. We can't get ourselves any new shield. Normally, there would be a shield that would be right here, beside the iron shield. But we can't get it yet, because this shield won't appear until we take on that boss I was talking about. That boss in the Veron Woods. Well, we just gotta uh, take it on. Then once we do that, we can get that shield. But let's go and get ourselves a stamina potion, because we will need it. Or a side quest I plan on doing for this episode. So I might want to do it now. I don't know, honestly. I don't know, honestly, what side quest I want to start first. But let us make our way out of here. Because, again... Actually, you know what? Actually, you know, I grinded a bunch. When we were in the Lanayru province, I grinded a bunch of tumbleweed and some other materials. So you know what? Let's go and see what I can upgrade. Let's go and see what the heck we can upgrade. Because I could use all the upgrades that I can get for this. And let's see. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I can even upgrade that. Please, I can upgrade that. Seriously? Are you serious right now? Okay. I guess in the future I'll be getting these upgrades, guys. In the future I'll be getting these. Don't worry about that. I'll be upgrading all the items in the game, but we just need two dusk relics, which we'll be able to get later on in the game. It's gonna be for a bit later on. And of course, the beetle. I'll get a hornet larvae and ancient flower maybe off camera if I remember to. Maybe I'll get it off camera. I don't know. I might just wait to get those because I'm feel grinding right now, but at the same time, I could really use the upgrades. I'd love to get them this early on because I feel like, honestly, I feel like this is fairly early on in the LP to get those kinds of upgrades. I would love to get them, but oh well, I'm just going to have to deal with it. And uh, we will actually need the Gust Bellows for a side quest, which is going to be right in here. As I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say that, yes, all we want to do is talk to this lady and well. Ah, Link, welcome. So here's the thing, Link. My house is terribly dirty. Pepper is always telling me to do some dusting around here, but I just can't bring myself to do it. That's why I wanted to ask you if you wouldn't mind cleaning it for me. I'll even pay you, Link. I'm on it. You will? Great. I knew you wouldn't leave me to sit in this dusty house, Link. What's that? A broom? You know, I don't even remember where we keep the crazy thing. Or if we ever owned one. Most of the time, I just wait for a good strong wind to come along and blow the dust away. So look, I don't really care how you get the job done. I just want you to blow it all away from me. So I'll just leave it to you then. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave you to it then. Okay, let's go and get started. Yeah, this is literally a side quest in Scout Sword. Well, um, yeah, I guess if you get too close to the door here, then... She'll think you're done, but no, we're not even close to done, because we still gotta blow all these dishes and crap, and make sure everything is nice and not dusty anymore, so awesome. We just gotta make sure everything is good and not dusty no more, so let's go and keep on blowing it, because, yeah, we gotta keep on blowing this crap, making sure it's all good and not dusty no more. Now, what's funny is, in the side quest, yes, you may be blowing dust and making things not dusty anymore, but... Um, the funny thing is, if you exit and re-enter the house, everything gets dusty again. I'll show that off, but literally, even if you blow the dust off, the house gets dusty immediately when you re-enter. So, I just find it kind of funny, honestly. It's funny, but also, like, how the hell do you get your house dirty that fast? Like, how? I just don't understand. Like, what do you do to your home to make it that dusty that fast? You just not clean anything? 
I mean, obviously not, seeing as how everything is dusty, but yes. Also, yes, you might have heard her sound there, yes. She enjoys it when you use the gust bells to blow her. I'll show it off before I finish this, so maybe I'll finish it first, I don't even know, honestly. But I do believe we just gotta finish blowing all the dust, and then that's it. What other dust is there, bro? What other dust? Honestly. What other freaking dust is there for me to blow? Oh, this window. There we go. Oh my, there's no more dust in my home. Thank you, Link. You've brightened my day. Come over here and let me pay you. Alright, but before that... Yeah, literally, if you blow her, she will act all satisfied. Yeah, she loves it. I don't know. That's so weird, honestly. But yes, her house is sparkly clean. Very nice. We get ourselves five gratitude crystals, which brings us to 25. So, really nice. All we need is just five more um, in order to get ourselves another gratitude crystal upgrade. But, yeah, she literally says, don't tell Pip it because he'll get really pissed off about it. Yeah, just basically don't tell Pippin about that, so yeah, that's nice. But I might honestly want to check what other Gratitude Crystal quests there are, because honestly, I don't even quite know at this point um, what other quests we really have right now. And actually, wait, if I'm not mistaken, you know, let's just go ahead and make our way up for just in case, because I don't know for sure. Whether we have done this or not. Oh, uh, no, we can't even do it. Never mind. Never mind. Let me not try and do that quest because there's no point to. We don't, have the, we don't even have the item necessary for it, so. Yeah, that's nice. And I never pushed this box. Okay, let's go and push it. So, I want to try and do at least one more Gratitude Crystal side quest, seeing as how we just need five more. And we'll get ourselves our next Gratitude Crystal upgrade. So, I want to do one more. Um, for this episode, I just don't know what one we may have left, so I might want to Google it, honestly. I'll let Link climb onto this, and I'm going to go ahead and Google right now, guys. Um, Crystal Side Quest Skyward Sword HD. Okay, I know, guys, in the middle of an episode, I do apologize for this intermission, but let me go ahead... And drop down. I'm looking at the TV for this, so I'm gonna go and look at all of the side quests that are up. And oh, okay. Let's go and see. The adventure Punch is running for 600. Jesus Christ, Beetle. You expect someone to buy stuff off you when you're selling it for that much? God damn. 100. I'll take it. At least we can buy something so we can increase our wallet capacity. Great. I'll take that. Jesus Christ, man. Oh my God. Lordy Lord. It's a lot. My god. Okay. So. Apparently. Um. So I'm trying to figure out what else there might be left. And yes, I know there's a bug mail there, guys. I'll get the bug mail since this is 100%, but. Yeah, just. Yeah. Okay, there's a missing sister. Five from the brother, five from the sister. Oh, wait. Wait, guys. I don't know if I ever got the crystals from the brother for asking the sister. I think I never talked to him. Maybe, maybe not. I don't even know. Let me go and head over, see if I did speak with him, because if not, that'll be an easy five gadget crystals for us to collect. So let's go ahead, make our way over, and speak to him, and let him... Never mind. Uh, maybe we speak to her and see. I don't even know. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, guys, so we gotta. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. Heh. Well. There's really. There's really nothing we can do right now in order to. I mean, I guess the biggest thing right now for this episode, mainly, guys, in order to get ourselves another five gratitude crystals that we need, the next five, I suppose. Maybe for just heading off to the Night Academy, because, yeah, that is generally where we can start a quest with Fledge. Because, yes, Fledge, he's trying to do a whole workout routine, and he needs some help with it. He needs some assistance with it. And, yeah, I just realized we have three empty bottles, so sweet. We didn't realize that. But, all we want to do is, actually, I believe the guy's room is just down here, so let's go ahead and turn to here. Make it nighttime because we need to get started with this quest. 
Because, yeah, involves Fledge, and we need to help him out. Let's go ahead and make our way off into, I guess, yep, Fledge's room. And what's hilarious is, yeah, in most Zelda games, you can just use the person's bed in order to sleep in it. And, yeah, he'll you up, and you can pass time. So, I just find that kind of funny, honestly, how you can just sleep in any NPC's bed. It's kind of funny. But let's go and speak to Fledge now, because he's doing push-ups. Five, six, seven. Yeah, let me catch my breath. Hey, Link. Oh, what am I doing? I'm training. I can't even lift a single barrel. Pathetic, I know. That's why I want to get stronger. I'm a bit embarrassed about it, though. So I do it that night when no one's around to laugh at me. But it's not going so well. I'm just too tired. I was actually about ready to throw in the towel. Oh, Link, what have you got there? That's not... It's not a stamina potion, is it? I don't suppose you would mind letting me have that, would you? Go ahead, take it, man. And yes, this is the start of the side quest where every now and then you want to give Fledge a stamina potion. We're just going to allow him to do more push-ups and eventually, um, yeah, it will allow him to do better. And yeah, that is that. So, yeah, that is Fledge's quest, I guess. Actually, no, let me not sleep until morning yet because there is a certain something we can begin as if we make our way. All the way over here, I do believe. Never mind. Um, huh. Okay. Well, I guess let's go ahead and. Uh, yeah, let's go just go and sleep until morning. There's no point in trying to adventure around here at nighttime. I would like to just to see what quests we can do potentially. But, yeah, and, oh. Okay. Wait, so already. Okay, so yeah, Fled, okay, yeah. We just want to return to him, so basically, with Fled's quest line, you want to give him a stamina potion to help him do more push-ups, and as time goes on, you want to give him another stamina potion, as you want to wait until you progress more in the game, as once you pr progress more in the game story, you'll be able to give Fled another stamina potion, which will, of course, allow you to... Oh, well, to help him out, and eventually you will be able to do a mini game with him. That mini game being the pumpkin one. I'm only doing this for the graduate crystals and for the main quest line. I will show off the pumpkin mini game, but I likely will not be getting the piece of heart from it just because I hate it so much. Let's go ahead, put this down, and speak to her. How are things? Now you're here, you should find yourself a bed to lie down and take a rest. Okay, I mean, I would do that, except for I kind of want to carry this barrel again for you, because I don't know whether you need it or not, but. I'm still gonna carry it, cause why the heck not? Let's go ahead and place it down. And yeah, I guess that really wasn't needed. Okay, I guess we need to do it again. Oh well, whatever. I don't care at this point. Let's make a way out, make a way off to Fledge, who should be located near the main plaza. Cause yeah, once you begin this quest line, you should be set to make your way off to the main plaza to see Fledge, and you should be able to get yourself five graduate crystals from him. Potentially, hopefully. Maybe it's only once you finish the quest, I don't even know. All I do know is that I just want to get started with this quest and give myself five more gratitude crystals so we can get ourselves another reward in this episode. Because I really want another freaking reward. And really, is Fledge not here? Oh my god, this is upsetting. This is just straight up upsetting, guys. Honestly, it's just straight up upsetting. Like, I don't even know what other quests I could do in this episode because that's all I really wanted to do before we go after the Feral region in the next episode. Um, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I decided to ultimately just make my way over here and just speak to her slowly but surely, and I just eventually talk to her over and over over the course of this run through. And yeah, I really I don't know where I'll find Paro or Oriel. I guess I'll just. Wait for that at a later time, maybe. I honestly don't know where they're located, to be honest, because I've tried looking, and in truth, I seriously don't know where their house is. So, yeah, I guess that's really that, because that's Piper's house, and then over here is really the item is really Patrice's house. I just don't know where they are. So, yeah, that's really it, guys. That's really it. I just, I truly don't know where the hell they are. Like, where the frick are these people located? Like, actually, where are they located? Where are they located, man? I'm just gonna check every house at this point. Like, at this point, 
to the end of this episode. I'm just gonna check every flipping house. And okay, this is the baby doll one for the baby doll side quest, which we can't even do yet because we don't have the item necessary for it. But let's go and keep on just let's go, just keep on checking the houses until we find something because I literally don't know where the heck these people are located, and I just want to find them just so that I can do this quest. And okay, I really just I don't know. Maybe this is the house. I don't freaking know, bro. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. Maybe this is it. I just have no clue. Let's go and figure out though. And nope, it's condos. Okay. Bro, everyone has like the same house, man. Oh my god. Okay, this episode is fun filled because I'm literally going through this blindly not knowing where these NPCs are. Like, seriously, where are these NPCs are located? They're literally like trying to freaking hide from me. I don't know where they are, damn it. Ugh, painful. All I need is literally just some graduate crystals, just five, and I am set. I don't know why that's so hard to ask and then receive. Like, why is it so hard to get? I really just don't understand. All I do know is that I'm about done with this. And I think I'm going to end the episode here, honestly, guys, because I can't figure out where they are. Probably not needed, honestly, to locate them. We're at 25. I would love to get to 30. But hey, in future episodes, I will, of course... Have episodes dedicated to collecting graduate crystals and getting rewards from them, so yeah, I guess next time join me as we make our way off back to the Faron region, continue exploring and seeing what is up ahead. As yes, we completed, we went through all three regions the Faron and the Elden and the Lanayru regions. We've gone through all three areas, and now it's time to backtrack and make our way back to the Faron region and see what's up there and see what's going on because all we have there is making our way back. And seeing what's up ahead. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like to help if you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to click on that subscribe button if you are new and want more content like this on the channel. Click on that bell, turn on those post notifications so that you're notified whenever I post a video. So that I'm still in my content. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time on Scout Story. She has make her way back to the Faron region and take on the boss, which I hate so much in this game. I'll see you all next time on Scout Sword HD. Peace out.